Maryland has just joined with 10 other states in the district in an effort to try to regulate ghost guns at the state level. The Giffords Law Center describes ghost guns as dangerous, homemade, untraceable firearms that are increasingly being used to circumvent federal and state gun laws. This week, Maryland began banning the sale of do-it-yourself gun-making kits, which can be bought by people who otherwise would not be able to pass a background check, like felons, domestic abusers, and minors. Meanwhile, Marylanders who already have ghost guns are being required to have them engraved with a unique serial number, which must be registered with the Maryland State Police so the gun can be traced if it's linked to a crime. Beginning in August, the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms will also begin requiring kit makers to add serial numbers nationwide and require licensed gun dealers to add engraved numbers to all home-built ghost guns that come into their inventory for repair or resale. In Maryland, gun owners have been raising questions about the new state law, including fears that Maryland required number engraving might conflict with federal regulations and put gun dealers at odds with the federal government. According to Maryland State Police, the state-mandated personal identification number is not a serial number per current federal regulations. The imprinting of the state-mandated personal identification is considered a gunsmithing service, which would not affect a gun dealer's license. But the ATF says if a gunsmith keeps a gun in its inventory overnight, additional federal markings and record keeping would be required. If that sounds confusing to you, here's what a Hagerstown gunsmith I talked to about this said. You have all of these meeting in a melting pot, which is about as clear as mud on a rainy day. Second Amendment supporters I talked to said such complications threaten to undermine compliance. So there was a lot of confusion. None of this will have the desired effect of reducing crime. This is one of the reasons gun safety advocates I spoke to said the state by state approach really requires Congress to step in to make ghost guns illegal everywhere. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.